Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'll be reacting to Bring It On. Now the Bring It On movie series has always been one of my favorites and it has been a few years since I've seen any of them. So I figured why not go ahead and do reaction to them. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I love this so much. This is by far my favorite intro to any movie ever. I absolutely love this Bring It On movie. It is just so good. Honestly, I probably still remember every word to this um, cheer or whatever. Guys wanna touch my chest? I'm rocking. I smile. And many think I'm vile. I'm flying. I jump. You can look, but don't you hop. Oh, I'm major. I roar. I swear I'm not a whore. We cheer and we leave. As much as I love this cheer, this probably would not be allowed to be said in any school ever. Did you vote? Oh yeah, Darcy thinks she should get captain because her dad pays for everything. He should use some of that money to buy her a clue. Uh -huh. She should use that money to buy her a clue. I'm gonna have to use that. That is so good. Uh, people, what's a wolf swap? Only the hardest pyramid known to cheerleading and mankind. The words big and riches come to mind. <laughs> She's crazy. She'll kill us all. Hello? Isn't that a basic cheerleading move to do? I'm basing this 100% off of the Bring It On movies. I know absolutely nothing about cheerleading. But if it really is one of the most basic moves, then why are they acting like it's so advanced? Especially since later in the movie, I know they do way more advanced stuff. My toxic trait is thinking that I could do that and do it better than them. You bet I can. Okay, ready? One, two, down, up. Aren't cheerleaders trained to fall properly? Because there are certain ways you can fall that'll help you take like less damage or make it hurt less. So I feel like that's something that they probably taught. But also, she fell from maybe like three feet. Okay, probably a little higher than three feet. But either way, she shouldn't be that injured. Um, so I'll see you around then? Looks like it. Not if he keeps showing up to class with only one minute left. Where was he? Was he lost in the hallways? Views are strictly foreboding. Sorry. Oh my god, I love this scene. I love this scene. Honestly, it's probably my second favorite scene in the whole movie, with the first being the opening cheer. <laughs> I could totally do that, even though I can't do a cartwheel anymore, but I could totally do whatever it is she just did. Yeah, I want it now. No, it's okay. Spirit stick doesn't lose anything. The person who drops it, however, Goes to Hades. <laughs> that is so dramatic. Is that a real thing in cheerleading? I I honestly have no idea. So if you're a cheerleader or you know anything about cheerleading, then please let me know down in the comments if the spirit stick is a legitimate thing in cheerleading. Back to school. Oh yeah, we bet we got the team we can't be had. We're the best, so score them points. You win the game. We'll rock this joint. Go to well, there's no coming back from that. <laughs> Everyone's just gonna assume all your stuff is stolen now. What was the point of the super awkward spitting contest? Is that their way of flirting with each other? 
<laughs> you, you have weak ankles. One of your calves is bigger than the other. Too much makeup. Not enough makeup. What's with the skin? Say it with me. I've never been a cheerleader, so I don't know if this is accurate or not. I don't know if choreographers are actually mean or anything. But I did have a karate teacher back in middle school who would always single me out and bully me. So, is that a good enough comparison? Probably not. But I think it works. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. <laughs> well, now they know how it feels. <laughs> It is such a bad routine. It is so just ugly <laughs> of a routine. Why didn't they try to change any of it? Like at least a little bit. You know, they could have at least got rid of the jazz fingers or whatever. But that's not all. We're gonna study other types of movement. From swing dance to interpretive dance. Even mine. Aren't they still just taking other people's choreo? It's just from multiple sources instead of from one. That's really good. I see why Big Red stole their routines. <laughs> Second place from San Diego, California, the Rancho Corte Torres! Second place, hell yeah! No one is happy about second place. Okay, if I got second place back in school, I'd be pissed. Okay, I used to do so much shit back in school. I used to do choir, orchestra, karate, all that jazz. And if I got second place in any of them, oh, it would not be a good day for me or for anyone. <laughs> so, second place? How's it feel? Feels like first. It does not. <laughs> it feels like shit, actually. <laughs> that was so aggressive. <laughs> she full on manhandled him for that kiss. I love the mashups that they always do at the end of the Bring It On movies. They always have some big dance sequence and it always just looks so good. I guess they actually had a good choreographer for that. <laughs> well guys, this movie is still amazing, of course, and I'm probably gonna go on a Bring It On movie bender now, so look forward to that <laughs> and if you like the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye